Hey, Yuito. Our jobs are dangerous. What do you think about holding on to a charm just in case? A charm? Oh, you don't seem that enthusiastic about it. I thought it was a good idea. It's very effective. If you ever change your mind, just come talk to me. I feel like I know you a little better now. We still have a long way to go, though. We should talk more. I think we'll get along fine. We're a much bigger group now. We'll just have to share the hideout with each other. Are you talking about... Yuito, you working hard today, too? Huh? Well, I, I guess so. That's good. Keep it up, then. How was that? You got a thing for me yet? I don't really get you, but I guess in a way you are intriguing. You're so serious, Yuito. Ever since we met, you've been going out of your way to help people. I'm not going out of my way. Why? Is that a problem? Kinda. I guess being a problem is how rookies grow up. So keep doing it. Though, I don't plan on taking care of you. Very intriguing. I'd like to analyze, uh, get to know you more. I don't know how to feel, but I'm glad you're interested. You don't like me, do you, Shida? You still saved me, though. Thanks. You know, just because I saved you doesn't mean I think you're any good. I don't exactly hate you, though. You're so full of it. You look like Chief Kaito. What? No one's ever told me that before. Really? You're just as damn serious as he is. You also try to keep the peace. Well, your personality and tastes are different, but I like you more than the Chief anyway. Hmm. I think I have a better understanding of the way you think. What? You know what I'm thinking? We're all working together again. How wonderful. Right, Sugumi? Kagura, you hid something from me. You hid something. Don't say it twice like that. I'm sorry, I am. I'm really sorry. Something to talk to Gemma about? You're strange. Huh? What is? Your existence. At first, you seem like someone trivial. Someone who would be neither useful nor harmful. But you're just a good person. A quality I've learned to not dislike. curious about you what I see um thanks um do you think we can talk for a minute Kasane sure what is it I just wanted to say thank you I owe you my life you owe me your life I don't know what you mean. <sighs> She's just as blunt as always. You know, I actually kind of miss that about her. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh, actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone, but the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. Alright, 
I accept your thanks. <laughs> yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean it's fate. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh, that's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah, I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Fate does seem like something being forced on us, but we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. I haven't told you yet, have I? That my sister Naomi is dead. What? She... What happened? She saved me when we were fighting Togetsu. She always saved me, every time right to the end. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't have been there to help. I didn't know when... It's nothing for you to worry about. I just thought of it while we were talking. The fact that I'm here and fighting alongside you is thanks to her. It is? My first impression of you was, he's not worth my time. If my sister didn't focus on you, I probably would have forgotten all about you the next day. <laughs> Damn, that's a pretty bad impression. What do you mean by Naomi focusing on me? Well, my sister... she really liked you. Oh. I'm flattered. I wish I had gotten to know her better. I'm sure knowing that would have made her really happy. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, me too. Kasane and I really haven't changed all that much. But now we can tell each other what we really think. Hey, I take back what I said. Arashi told me that calling someone a good person isn't always a compliment. Hmm. I think it's usually used as a compliment. Well, at least that's how I interpreted it. Oh. That's good then. Words are complicated. Thank you for taking mine at face value. I think I understand you a little better now. Really? I'm happy to hear you say that. Oh, Yuito. Do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Did something happen? You look serious. 
I got a message from my uncle. You mean the OSF hospital's chairman? Can you tell me what it was about? Yeah. But be ready. You won't like it. He said, It seems you've learned a lot about the hospital recently, but you don't need to get involved. If you consider yourself a part of the Ichijo family, then keep your mouth shut. He's clearly threatening you. Yeah. I was shocked. But beyond that, I'm just so frustrated. We worked hard to uncover the government's secret, but they're still able to get away with it. We managed to expose so much to the public, but the top brass are trying to save themselves by eliminating the evidence. They can't go unpunished for what they did. Isn't there anything we can do? Are you sure, though? I mean, no matter what they did, they're still your family. Isn't this hard for you? I'm fine. It doesn't matter if they're family. Remember what I told you before? We've seen so many bad parts of the OSF. What my uncle did was unforgivable. I can't look the other way if I'm going to be able to stand proudly as a member of the OSF. Then let's think together on how we can go after the chairman's crimes. We basically need to find irrefutable evidence that my uncle and the others were connected to that research. Yeah, but that data isn't going to be something we can easily access. If there's any evidence left, it would need to be somewhere secret. Oh, like the old OSF hospital. That seems possible. There are others there, so maybe they think nobody would go investigate it. Let's check it out together. You'll come too? I'm happy to hear you say that, but... Come on. I said I'd help you any way I could. Thanks. Let's go together then. Researcher? We can worry about that later. We need to save her first. You're right. Let's hurry. <laughs> Damn it! There's too many of them! Defeating them would be hard enough. But I'm worried I'm going to hurt her trying to protect her. What are we going to do? Can you create a wall of fire around her to keep the others away? If I do that, the woman would get burned too. 
Keep the intensity down and have it pointing towards the outside. That should keep her safe in the center. On paper, sure. But my power is hard to control. I'm not sure I can do it. But if we don't do something... Watch out! can do it. I just need you to hold it for a short time while I draw the others away. Okay, I'll try. Fire, do what I say! <sighs> Great job. Keep it up. Now I can take care of these guys. Did, did it work? Right. Now's my chance. Are you all right? Come this way. Th thank you. I thought I was dead. Can you still fight? Yeah, I'm still good. Now to unleash everything I have. It sprayed something like oil. Easy. Don't get it on you. Thanks, Kasane. I should be able to break the outer shell and keep attacking. all of them yeah thank goodness you came up with that fire idea sorry I put you on the spot but I couldn't have protected her without you oh 
Oh, right. Where's the woman we saved? Um, first, let me thank you for saving me. Please. We only did our jobs as members of the OSF. So you're with the OSF like I thought. Why did you come here? Was it to arrest me? No, we mean you no harm. Wait, are you Yuito Sumaragi, the traitor? I guess that means you're not with the government. Okay, I'll trust you. Either way, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get out of here on my own. Can we ask what you came here to do? Are you a researcher here? Yes, I've personally conducted many inhumane experiments here. But I just couldn't go on with it anymore. Doing those terrible things to innocent people. The guilt kept me awake at night. Then I saw that broadcast and thought it was my chance to atone for what I did. Do you mean the video of Kaito we sent out from Arahabaki? You did that? Then I need to thank you again. That broadcast helped me make up my mind. I need to reveal the truth and have everyone, including myself, receive the proper punishment we deserve. And it seems like we are here for the same reasons. What do you mean? We came here looking for evidence against the people running the hospital. We thought there must be some here. I see. Then I guess we're both lucky. I just retrieved some data from a locked terminal in the back. It lists who was directing the research and for what reasons. It even has signatures with their names. If we can make these public, even the higher-ups won't be able to make excuses. That means we'll achieve our objective if we safely escort her back to the city. Yeah. I can't believe you snuck in here by yourself, when the place is crawling with others. There's a passageway just for the researchers, to avoid the others. It was blocked halfway through, so I had no choice. I was really scared. Well, you're safe now. We'll protect you. I can make my own way back from here. Thank you for escorting me this far. It was our pleasure. I feel so relieved to learn there was someone in that hospital with a conscience. And you both gave me hope. A chance to right my mistakes. How do you plan to release the information you found? I plan to take it to the press first, but I'm not sure if there's any organization that's not in bed with the government. If there's not, then I'll think of something else. Okay, good luck. Yes, thank you. You look relieved. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to understand what Gemma said the other day. You mean about a reason to fight? Uh-huh, but maybe fighting isn't the only thing I want to do. I thought my pyrokinesis was only good for burning my enemies. But now I see I can use it to protect someone, too. I feel like there's something there. I mean, I'm still working it out, so I'll have to give it some more thought. I'm glad you seem to be onto something. I hope my idea helped. Yeah, it really helped. Thanks. Well, let's head back to the hideout. This might not come out right, but it's more fun living in the unit than I thought. It's a little inconvenient, though. Yeah, but everyone in our platoon is nice, and I'm always with you. I hope we can keep fighting together. Being with you makes me feel... safe. I like that we're childhood friends. Huh. 
Hey, I'm grateful. There's that stupid face again. That's how you start a conversation? Sorry, I call it like I see it. I suppose I'm getting used to it, though. You make sure to stay alive so I can always see your stupid face. It's not what I wanted, but I'm beginning to see how to handle you. Uh... Is that something I should be happy about? Gemma, got a minute? What is it? Did something happen? I had Wataru go through the list of retired soldiers after we talked about your friend. I told him he was missing since I thought that was important. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Nobody's trying to hide that. So, did you find out anything? I haven't looked yet. I thought you might be able to notice something if we looked at it together. I'm sending the data to you now. This lists the present status of retired OSF members. I told him to only look at members who retired this past spring, so I'm pretty sure your friend is on here. Oh, I found him. Masaki Fujikawa. There's even details on his living situation. Why is the OSF tracking retired members so thoroughly? Wait. What? What's wrong? This is ridiculous. Look here. Let's see. Shortly after entering the OSF hospital, Masaki Fujikawa died? No. I don't buy it. If he died in the hospital, his family would have been notified. Something doesn't add up. You're right. There are too many here that are listed as dying in the hospital, and all of them in such short periods. No matter how supposedly damaged these retired soldiers are, they can't all need hospitalization that badly. Hey guys, so I dug a little deeper on that retirement list you're talking about. Seems pretty clear to me these are doctored. Publicly, they all died in the hospital. However, there's no record of their bodies being moved. There's a chance they're still alive in there. Really? I can't say for sure, but they went through the trouble of falsifying these records. Which means there's a high chance the hospital is involved in something unsavory. Are they being used in human experiments? Many retired soldiers don't have families. It's a horrible thing to say, but nobody's asking questions if they turn up missing. I'd like to say it's only a guess, but going by the OSF hospital's previous track record? Then we should get on this now. If they're being used in human experiments, we need to save them right away. Data. Huh. The data lists them being admitted to the new OSF hospital building. But maybe they were moved to the old building for experimentation. That's possible, but there's actually something else suspicious I found. I was tracking the vehicles going to and from the OSF hospital to see what they're up to. And I found a strange vehicle that would head from the hospital to Ceyron once in a while. There's actually one out now. I can't imagine they'd be making deals with Ceyron right now. What are they doing? I don't know, but they could be transferring the patients to some facility we're not aware of. We should start by tracking down that vehicle, since that's our only lead. They need to cross the river if they're heading to Seiron. We should be able to find it if we head to Mizuhagawa. I'll see if I can find more info on it. Thank you for helping me find Masaki. Let's find him soon. Good news, you two. I managed to access the details of that vehicle leaving Suo through its ID number. I was right. The cargo manifest listed names of hospital patients. Your friend Masaki was on it. Then he's on that vehicle. Yeah, there's definitely a chance of that. It's stopped right now. I'll send you its location. You need to get over there ASAP.
Looks like there's a resource nearby. That's the vehicle Wataru was talking about. What is it doing stopped there? They're unloading something. They look like garbage bags. I don't see any patients. So it was a garbage truck? Does that mean Wataru's information was wrong? No. They'd be taking trash to the garbage facility. So what are they? Let's check their contents after they leave. I'm getting a bad feeling. Yeah. It's targeting that bag, but why? It's what I feared. No, stay away from that. Gemma! Damn it, I guess we're doing this. Come on. I'm watching out for you. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. So. You need help? Don't get cocky! Successfully reached shell. Attack now! Contact must be its weak spot. Ha! 
I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I misidentified the cargo. I never thought they'd be carrying human brains in the waste disposal vehicle. Then those bags are... Damn it. It was too late. Masaki's already... Not just him. They treated all these people like they were trash. They fought for decades, risking their lives to fight for humanity. None of them deserve to end like this. <sighs> I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment. Anybody would if they found out their friend was treated this way. I'd like to bury the ones who didn't get eaten by the other. Do you mind waiting here? I'll help. Let's give them a proper burial. Thank you. You too, Wataru. I appreciate your help. I'll have to tell Masaki's younger brother later. I don't mean to overstep, but... Would it be okay if I went with you? I'd appreciate that. You must be Gemma. Yes. There's something I need to tell you about Masaki. I'm sorry, but your brother has died. What? Are you certain? Yes. I can't share the details with you as it's classified. But he passed away in the hospital and was buried in a secret location. Oh. I'm sad to hear that. I'm sorry. If I'd only found him sooner... It's okay. Please allow me to apologize as well for calling you cold. Huh? I actually received a message from my brother after I spoke to you, saying he had to be taken into the hospital. He told me not to worry about him and that he might not be able to contact me for a while. He also shared his true feelings. Let me send you his message. He... My brother was thankful to you for your tough love, for trying to help him move on from the OSF. After everything we've been through together, I don't have to talk to him to know what he's thinking. Gimma was always there for me. Awkward and earnest. Masaki. It was my misunderstanding. My brother's memories of you were always there helping him. My brother wrote that he was ready to build a new life, free from the past, once he's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately, that never happened. But he never would have had that hope if it wasn't for you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Goodbye. <sighs> Gemma? You knew what I was trying to do. Your brains weren't connected. But your hearts were. Masaki. Is he crying? <sighs> Sorry. We should go back to the hideout. Okay. I guess I don't need to mention it, but you don't avoid me. I have no reason to. Do other people avoid you? Yeah, the youngsters probably feel awkward around an old man like me. I'm used to it, but it can still hurt, so... I'm grateful. means to trust each other. Yeah, I trust you to have my back.
everyone. Major General Fubuki is up. Seems like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. I see. I get the basic idea. The expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us. And then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? The Red Strings research, execution of the plan, that's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans? All right. You're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have, so I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. Could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician, though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. Kabuki, don't get yourself into trouble. You too, sis. Take care of them. I think we're safe leaving Suo and Seiron to Major General Fubuki. So, we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Kagero and Kyoka have useful information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. Okay. What is it? You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito! Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone, there's something I have to tell you. You too, Kasane? This is about Kagura, right? We should listen. Kagura wants to talk. I bet it's about... No. I think it's best to wait until I hear him out first. Where's Kagura? I guess I'll check up top. Hmph! <laughs> 
So, you came. Sorry for bringing you out here. What did you want to tell me? It's about your father, Chairman Joe Sumeragi. <gasps> you know that Kasane didn't kill him. I was the one who killed the Chairman. It was you? That's right. I killed him. I'm sorry I didn't tell you until now. Why? Why would you do that? How could you kill my father? <sighs> Answer me! I had no hatred for the chairman. It was for myself. I guess self-defense is a better word for it. I mean, my power is perfect for assassination. I'm sort of in charge of that kind of work. Stop it! Tell me everything. What do you think I'm doing? I'm telling you because I feel bad. I know you can't forgive me, of course. So, what do you want me to do? If you tell me to leave, I'll go. So that's how you want to do this? Yes, it is. That's the kind of guy I am, after all. Fine. You have your ways of doing things, and I have mine. Oh, so that's how it is. You don't really want to do this now, do you, kid? You really want to fight? Fight me, Kagero! Don't think I'm playing around! That's how you want it? Then I won't hold back! Good! Show me what you got! Huh? He found you! Come on! Damn! Where are you? You won't get away! At this rate! I can 
still fight. that is Time out, Yurito. Okay? I know you want to kill me, but wait a sec. If I die now, the 2,000 years of things I did for her will all be for nothing! <laughs> About time you told me the truth. Kagero. What? You... you knew. I knew you wouldn't tell me the truth if I didn't do this. And I did actually want to beat you up. You... serious? Boy, do I look dumb right now. You'll tell me the truth now, won't you? Yeah. Yuito! Kagero! Did we interrupt you? Kagura, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sugumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? About my father? Yeah, Kasane told us. Are you alright? I guess so. For now. Please, tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero. This is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu? If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans. I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker, so it was self-defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please, who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? 
the moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown, but the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the moon faction's plan. And I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the moon put Plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The extinction belt. I think it's safe to say that the moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe, and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family. The only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that. I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal, if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So, I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu. Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together, and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. Alright. 
So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. But I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. <sighs> that was not good on my nerves. Don't scare me like that. I'm glad you're both okay. Wataru, Haruka, I'm sorry I made you worry. 